Hello third graders, this is Mrs. Zamia, and I'm here recording this video to tell you a little bit about our assignment, our assignments for this week. And you have, get to choose one of the assignments that I have on this piece of paper here. And then you're going to um, complete the assignment and then take a picture of your art, or you can do a video showing me your art and explaining it. And then you have your family email me a picture of your art or video to my school email, which is szmia, S-Z-M-I-A, at cusd15.org. So your choices for this week, and remember, you're only going to pick one of these. You're not going to do all of them. Just pick one to complete. You can, uh, first of all, draw a self-portrait, which is a picture of yourself using any materials that you have available. So pencil, marker, crayon, oil, pastel, whatever you have to draw with, you can use. And whatever type of paper you have, you can use as well. It's okay if it has lines on it. Um, just use what you have available. So that's one choice is you can make a self-portrait. Uh, another choice is that you can draw a picture or create a sculpture of a new species of fish. And tell me in uh, your email or video what your fish is called, what it might eat, where it lives, and what its special ability is. And I am going to show in just a moment, I'll explain a little bit more about this um, with the help of my stepson Callum. Hi. And my son Adam. Hi. They're going to help me make a new fish. And then last choice for this week is to watch Art Rages with Nate videos about pointillism and Syrah using this link right here. Uh, or you can look up Art Rages with Nate pointillism on YouTube to get those links. And we've been learning about George Syrah and pointillism uh, before school got out. And so this is another way to kind of um, extension of learning for what we've been learning about lately. Okay, so I'm going to show you my fish assignment here. And like I said, you just choose to make a drawing or a sculpture. So if you have like Play-Doh at home and would rather do a sculpture of this, that's fine too. But I have a drawing here I made of a fish that I came up with. And the first thing you want to do is think about what parts your fish has. So we want to start with your basic types of part, uh, fish parts. So gills, eyes, body, fins, tail or mouth. Your, your fish should have at least some of these to make it a fish. But you can add extra parts and we'll talk about that in a moment. So here's the, one of the, fi uh, the fish that I came up with right here. I call it the spike fish. And so I drew this with pencil and then I colored with colored pencils. And I decided my fish was going to live in the Amazon River. So it lives like with piranhas. So I thought it might have to be kind of a tough fish and be able to protect itself against predators. So think about where your fish is going to live. It can live in any type of water. It could live in real place or an imaginary place. But it has to be in some sort of liquid. So it could be a pond, a lake, a river, ocean. It could be in a puddle. It could be in a bottle of water. It could live in lava. Um, you decide where it's going to live, and that's going to determine what you do for the parts. It has to adapt to its environment, right? Just like um, animals and creatures and nature do, they adapt to their environment. Um, and also think so about what its going to special ability is. So besides swim, because all fish swim, it's going to do something special. It might walk. It could jump rope. It could um, glow in the dark. It could be electrified, almost like an eel. Um, mine here is going to battle predators with its spike. So it has these really cool spikes on it. And so if like a piranha tries to attack it, it can protect itself. Um, so I thought about when I was making my fish, I thought about where it lived and what it was going to do, what it would need. So if your fish is going to walk, it might need some legs that are going to help it walk besides its usual fish parts like fins and a tail. Um, I made a little extra fish here because I had some extra space, but you only need to draw or create one, uh, one fish. So I'm going to make a new fish just to kind of show you how I went through this process. And here's another one we made just a moment ago. This is our Bob Ross fish. It's pretty silly. We're going to make a new one with the help of Adam and Callum. Okay, guys, what type of body should it have? Um, Let's start with the body. body. A tiny body. So we're making a, a tiny fish. Okay, tiny fish. Okay, what, how many eyes should it have? What do you think, Adam? Should it have what, big eyes or little eyes? Little eyes. And how many? One, one little eye? Mm. We'll do one little eye right here. Okay? 
And what kind of fin should it have? Um, it should have a very tiny fin. Very tiny, tiny fin. Okay, what about a tail? Should it be long or short? Curved like, or spiky? Like really long and curvy. Long and curvy. How about like this? It kind of looks like a fishtail. It's, it's like really long. It looks like a, a tiny fish mermaid. It does. Okay, what a little, how about a mouth? It, should it be big mouth or a little mouth? What do you think? Mm. Medium. Okay, how about this? So we're going to have an open mouth. And then should it have sharp teeth, you think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Really, so. really, really sharp teeth. This is a tooth mouth. What about tongue? Um, there. I'm going to make a tongue. This looks <laughs> It looks like, like it's screaming. <laughs> and maybe a little fin here. Okay. So there's my fin. Maybe it can have stripes. Oh, it looks like a narwhal fish. It does. It's like a narwhal one. No, it looks like All a right. narwhal We should have a narwhal hunt. And you can combine other animals with your creature. I've also had people make it looks like other, their fish look like an animal. But it's remember, it's, no matter what you do, you still have to have some fish parts, like fins and a tail and... So that looks like a fish. Uh, so what should we call this fish, you guys? What do you think? Um, the screaming narwhal fish. Yes. Okay. Slash mermaid. Slash mermaid. <laughs> it looks. It looks like. Ing. And so, where should it live? What do you think? Um. In the planet of phones. No. In. <laughs> The planet of water. The the planet. It's made out of all of water, no plants. No, no of water. water. No. Okay. And what should it eat? Sharks. It eats these like Ooh, sharks. Oh yeah, sharks. It's a pretty sharks. feisty fish. Eats sharks. It does look pretty feisty. It's it's small but mighty. And then, what was the last thing? Oh, what is its special ability? What um, can it do ooh, that besides swim? It can spit out a poison. Ooh, spits poison. Spits nice. There is this special monster that can squirt blood out of its Okay, eyes. so, very cool. We have our screaming narwhal fish, which um, is lives on the planet of water. It eats sharks and spit poison. And then later on, I can color this in and decide what color it's going to be, too. But um, I think that's pretty cool. I like our, our um, fish that we curated. Now, remember, you cannot create the exact same fish that we made. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're being creative and you come up with your brand new fish, different than ours, but just as awesome because this is pretty cool. And I know yours will be, too. So I'm excited to see uh, what you come up with. Don't forget to make one of those choices on the list I explained. And then... Take a picture of what you create and send it to me through email or post it on my um, art class Facebook page. I'll see you later. Bye.